guys, Little Woman 21 here, and I want to first apologize for not posting yesterday. The internet was really shoddy, stopped starting all day, it just didn't work. And I didn't post earlier today because something happened that made me feel really down. I didn't get the job that I was really, really gunning for, and so... I also didn't want to post it publicly, I know I'm posting it publicly now, but I'm not posting like details and everything, so it still counts, but I had to tell my friends and my family that I didn't get it, and I just feel like bad about it, and I felt like kind of depressed. And because I still felt depressed and like no hopey things after I... <laughs> I love Flint. After I uh, told everybody, I did what an old, I did what an old saying said to do and slept on it. I took a nap and honestly guys, if you're feeling down and you don't see any hope in anything, sleep on it. Because afterwards I was able to put things a little bit more in perspective. And it really helped. And which comes to today's topic, silver linings. If you don't have one, or or multiples like I came up with, then you're going to keep feeling depressed, really. So, my silver linings for not getting this job is one, having more time for school, coming up on the last few semesters and I wanna be in tip-top shape for it. The financial downside was not getting enough like financial stuff but hey you can always look for different outlets and school will help you in the long run, run right <laughs> number two i will have more t time for family uh it turns out that i probably wouldn't have been able to get around the holiday time off and i wanted to spend it with uh the people in my life that i don't normally spend really any time with my mom's side of the family and I love them dearly and now I'll actually be able to spend Christmas with them so that's great. Uh, number three, I know I made a spoof video about making dream catchers but the materials were actually real and I actually do make them and so <laughs> I'm going to uh, make more of them and hopefully start like selling them and you know hopefully people will appreciate my art. Stiff. Number four uh, is kind of interesting. Uh, since the summer started, my productive summer, <laughs> which it really was, kind of a rocky start to the fall semester though, but anyway. Uh, I started hanging out with a buttload of people that are maze balls. I showed you how awesome they are with helping me make sure my house was in a disaster after the 4th of July party that I had. And coincidentally, all of them are cosplayers. And I always love, I've always loved the uh, cosplay community, but I've never, you know, had a huge like, let's do this, me <laughs> type of thing until now. So I'm going to be working on cosplays for both Snafu and WizCon. This year. That's right, October and November, I'm going to go and be in costume. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, moral of the story, look for silver linings because now I'm a little less down. I'm still going to be bitter about it, just a little bit, <laughs> for a little bit. But the point is, you have to press on Look for those silver linings so you don't just keep wallowing in what could have been. But yeah. Well, I know I'm starting school tomorrow and I want to tell everybody else who started school and who's starting school tomorrow with me to have, I hope you had a great week and I hope you have a great first week of school. I will see you this Saturday. Stay lovely.